if we counted it, obesity deaths the same way we counted COVID-19 deaths, it would be absolutely fucking insane. And there's no reason why we should. Absolutely no re- reason why we should. If you can get it in your head that COVID-19 should have included people that died from heart disease, cancer, even car accidents and gunshots, because people that died in car accidents and from gunshots are included in, in COVID-19 death tolls, by the way. People that died from stroke, people that died from heart attacks, people that died from stage four cancer are all listed as COVID-19 because if you tested positive at all or were suspected of being positive, they would in fact mark it as a COVID death. So I thought, you know, it would be an interesting thing to see what would happen if we counted obesity deaths the same way as COVID-19 deaths. So let's get to it. All right. 2020, there was a loose rule. If someone tested positive, their death was frequently called a COVID-19 death, no matter what the cause. Uh, and if every death of someone with a body mass index of over 30 was counted as an obesity death, the toll would be staggering. Obesity prevalence is a massive 42.5%, but I'm going to argue everybody that needs to understand that those numbers were taken uh, from 2015 to 2018 and just published in 2018 and then continued through 2020. So the likelihood that we are well over 50% obesity is extremely high, but this is the statistics and data that I could validly prove through scientific method for this article. So that's why I used it. It's a 13% globally. Compare that to COVID-19's uh, prevalence of 5 to 20% in 2020. Using Ioannidis' COVID-19 IFR estimates of 0.27 median, I calculated an I- obesity IFR by attributing all deaths among obese individuals to obesity. Okay, so let's be real. All deaths related to obesity, like if you're obese and you die of anything, we're gonna count that as an obesity death for this because that's what we did with COVID. So we were terrified of COVID because we counted every death, no matter what the fuck happened, as a COVID death. No matter, like we, we did not give a shit why they actually died. Uh, it is even on the uh, CDC website that only about 5% of the people that are attributed as dying from COVID or with COVID died of COVID. Most people uh, died with it and four other very serious comorbidities at an average age over the average age of life expectancy. Um, so by getting COVID and having four, uh, having four serious comorbidities, you are actually less, you, you are actually likely to live longer than the average age of life expectancy. That's how stupid it is. But um, just so everybody grasp this, uh, obesity's IFR would be 1.23%, nearly five times higher than COVID at 0.27. And by the way, for under 70, for under 70, that's way higher because the under 70 IFR infection fatality rate of COVID is 0.05. And most of the people that die from obesity are not elderly. <laughs> they're, they're younger than 70. Most of the people that die from obesity, you don't find many obese 70 year old, 70 plus year olds. You just don't. You know why? Because they're dead. So the average age of, of life expectancy is very different. So uh, let's go with the raw data. Below is, the, uh, is an age stratification uh, comparison of obesity IFR amongst all deaths. And this is using uh, Ioannidis' estimate for non-elderly 2022 uh, and uh, Verity et al. 2020 for those over 70. Obesity's prevalence comes from CDC 2017 to 2020 and with all cause mortality adjusted for 1.5 hazard ratio. So if we take a look at it, um, uh, zero to 19, 10% 10% of the people are obese. Their all-cause mortality is 0.05. Their obese IFR is 0.075. So uh, they are more likely to die of obesity than any other thing at this age. And the COVID IFR for their age bracket, no matter what their health status, is 0.0003. So we're, we're reaching the stage where obesity at this age is more as serious as the seasonal flu. Uh, for obesity, but COVID is still not. Let's hop down to 40 to 49. It's 45 percent. The all-cause mortality is 0.4. The obesity mortality is 0.6, and the COVID mortality is 0.035. 50 to 59. Uh, 45 percent obesity. 0.4 for all-cause. 0.6 for obesity, and 0.129 for COVID. Um, that's 0.129 is just getting into the realm of the normal seasonal flu. 0.6 is obviously well, well, well above the seasonal flu. So very realistically. Obesity is vastly more dangerous than COVID just by their IFRs. If we count deaths the same way between obesity and COVID, obesity is vastly more deadly. Why aren't we doing something about it? Where are my fucking lockdowns? Where 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 are where are we at? Why aren't these people wearing a mask over their face so they can't put food in it? Where where are we at? I'm I'm proving to you using critical thinking and logic, deduction and science 
that obesity, if counted the same way as COVID, is massively more deadly than COVID. Why aren't we doing something about it? This is my argument. One more time, folks, you can buy my book. Uh, it was never about your health, the COVID pandemic. It is on ebook, on Amazon, paperback, and on uh, hardcover. Please grab that ASAP. I appreciate it.